Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends update from today's Fan First Thursday Marvel Team Hasbro event. If you try to pre-order your new Marvel Legends, you can do so at... Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. Why right, down there, I ask you to show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So today was a little bit weird. Uh, before the big three started their live stream, pre-orders had started going up for a bunch of Doctor Strange figures. And you can see right over here, we have the Target exclusive Deluxe Doctor Strange. Uh, this is a Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange figure, or Defender Strange, as it says right there. And you can see that it's gonna come with that huge wheel effect or the transporting wheel. And I think that looks freaking awesome. I, I really happy that hasbro is making this thing i'm very interested in that suit too uh it kind of has a contemporary doctor strange look sorry about the fairly blurry picture but i did pull these from uh the target.com uh site and uh, they did talk about it on the stream as well they went over all of these uh, strange figures so you could see uh, ryan over here holding the effect piece and i think it looks awesome and then moving on, we get a Ragnarok figure from the Civil War comics. And we did get this in 3 3 quarter inch form several years ago. And it looks pretty dope, man. I'm I'm happy to have this version, but my and I'm really happy that they're giving us <clears throat> the spinning Mjolnir effect over here. It's just uh right now my biggest gripe is that he doesn't come with a regular Thor head. So for people that missed out on the regular Thor figure, the 80 years Thor figure, sorry. Uh, you're not going to have like a regular uh, Thor to to turn this into. It's going to be Ragnarok because they'll have the red eyes instead of just regular uh, Thor blue eyes, you know. So you can see uh, Ryan over here holding the effect piece. It's got a bluish hue to that translucent plastic. And then moving on to the Doctor Strange wave, uh, you can see that we have the Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange in package. This is a new body mold. We get an ab crunch, which we haven't seen before, and it looks pretty dope. Uh, I, I do like the new effects parts that they've given us, and they talked about the uh, added detail in the scarring of the hands, so I thought that's a cool touch. I'm not a big fan of the facial expression, though. There's this weird thing going on with the smirk, and it's Kind of throwing me off just a little bit, but not a bad head sculpt. Then we get Astral Form Doctor Strange looking pretty cool. Uh, Hasbro said they put a lot of time into this, and before they didn't know how Astral Form Strange would look in the movie, so they just based it off the comics, but this is supposed to be their more screen-accurate Doctor Strange using an older body mold. I hate it when they do that, when they have a new body mold and then they use an old body mold in the same wave. It's like, ah, stick to the new one. You just made it. Come on. But anyway, uh, moving on, uh, we are going on to Mordo, which is a much cooler-looking Mordo. Now, I don't I don't know uh, if they've recast... It looks like they've recasted Mordo over here, but I'm not familiar with the actors enough. I mean, I remember him from the Serenity movie, but it looks like it's a different actor to me. And um, yeah, man, uh, it, I, I like this look for Mordo more so than the first one. It reminds me of comic book Mordo more than anything or than ever before. He comes with a crossbow over here, so I am stoked for that. And then we have Wong. Finally, we have a Wong figure oh man so stoked uh this looks dope I, I like it he comes with the sword over here looking pretty cool and then you can see the colors look really nice on him and everything and he comes with the same effects pieces that we saw with the doctor strange which makes sense i'm cool with that and then you can see him right over here yeah, pretty decent facial expression on this figure and you can see all the accessories and we get the build a figure right there and then we have america chavez which i didn't expect to see america chavez debut in multiverse of madness if they had announced that before i may have missed it but she's got kind of a weird little smirk going on but you know you get the pinless joints and everything and it looks like they did a good job of getting a nice ankle pivot on that figure and the jacket looks pretty dope they talk about all the deco and everything on the jacket so that's pretty sweet and then we have despair which we had already known about and we're just getting more images of despair over here so that's looking pretty sweet and uh yeah uh, i do like what i'm seeing so not a bad looking despair 
figure at all in my opinion so um love adding the new characters to the wave and you can see the build a figure pieces right over or build a figure piece and in interchangeable hands right over there but then the one i was really looking forward to is sleepwalker yeah finally we get a sleepwalker and they knew that we wanted a sleepwalker hella bad and finally we get a sleepwalker i'm stoked so uh it does look like we're getting some bucky uh, bucky cap parts unless i'm mistaken over here i could be mistaken but it looks like a bucky cap mold which is kind of bumming me out a little bit but i'm just stoked to have the character in action figure form still but uh since you know they had announced that vulcan i was kind of hoping that we'd see that vulcan body getting used maybe instead of the bucky cap mold right but i could be wrong i don't know let me know and then we get a grintra build a figure for this wave which i thought was a really cool build a figure this looks awesome uh, this character i vaguely remember seeing in the books unless i'm mistaken and just totally making it up in my mind but i felt like he kind of had like a little bit of a jarvis -y kind of role uh at, in the sanctum centaurum but i could be wrong about that so correct me if i'm wrong but anyway he's going to be in the movies and we're going to see him in the multiverse of madness so this will be the build a figure uh, he does have who Hooves for the first time, we're seeing a hooved character uh, from Marvel Legends, or Hasbro Marvel Legends anyway. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. I like it. Maybe they could use this for a Gorgon later on. But yeah, this looks like it's going to be a dope build-a-figure. Uh, it's not going to be huge, but it's going to be much larger than the other figures from the wave. So, so I'm very much looking forward to the Rintra. Uh, they talked about the STCC Ulik, and they're remaking an Ulik. All right, so you got new head sculpt over here. You got some new parts added to the torso. Uh, you can see we get the hammer right there for Ulik, so that's pretty neat. I do like the head sculpt, the screaming head sculpt with the crazy hair, and just looks freaking awesome. So I'm stoked for that. And then uh, they also said that it's going to be a Walmart exclusive. So there you go, which is tricky for me, but <clears throat> you know, other people will have an easier time. I'll order it online. Ordering online has been okay. Uh, then they have Baron Zemo over here, which we talked, which we'd seen before. And uh, this looks really cool. So I do like this classic Baron Zemo. Um, this is this is something that, you know, I wasn't... God, I hate when they don't bend the ankle pivot in these poses. It frustrates me. But it's going to be a Walgreens exclusive. Looks pretty dope. And I'll be happy to add them to the shelf, even though I like the one I have right now. This one still looks really cool, too. So uh, maybe you could get, like, a Thunderbolts version and then use the villain's version. You know, get two of them. And then or I already have... Uh, I would be getting to if I, once I picked that up. Uh, but then moving on, they revealed Jigsaw, which I am so stoked to see Jigsaw over here. This looks freaking sick. Oh, man, that head sculpt looks amazing. Really stoked about that. Man, that looks freaking cool. Uh, Dwight's showing off the figure over here. I'm so jealous. Freaking sick-ass looking Jigsaw. It comes with a bat and a machete and a knife. Very, very good-looking figure. And this will be a Walgreens exclusive and then moving on, uh, they talked. They, they showed off uh, this animated reel from DGDX Animation, which I thought came out looking really badass. But I don't know how much I'm liking that Tony uh, that Tony Stark head. But we'll see. Uh, but they gave us the third of the four reveals. They made it very clear that we're getting a Toad figure, so we can stop you know <laughs> going on and on about it they confirmed we're definitely getting Toad. But yeah, the next one uh, coming up is the Incredible Hulk and. I I don't know if I'm liking the new head sculpts. I mean, I don't mind them reusing the body mold, but this head sculpt right here, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Like, my initial reaction to seeing this, I literally said out loud, Ew! And that was during the DGDX animated sequence. Like, I, I was watching that, enjoying it. And, dude, if a figure doesn't look good from DGDX animation... Like, that's all on the figure, man. That's And I, I don't like this head sculpt. He's got, like, a big old sausage right there for a bottom lip or a big old cucumber. I don't know. I, I want to see toy, <laughs> toy Farce make a meme about there being a pickle for a bottom lip or something. That looks so off to me. I mean, try to make that facial expression yourself, man. That's a... Oh, God. I, I'm really unhappy with that. That is just bizarre to me it, i haven't really been that disappointed in a sculpt from marvel legends since uh, invisible woman and then um i wonder if it's the same person that did it i'm not trying to be mean but really i don't like it but hey a bunch of other people might like it you know who knows but i really don't this one looks a lot better um you know i still don't like the super heavy underbite still i got a pickle lip right there at the bottom but yeah it's uh, uh dude yeah that, not my favorite hulk head sculpts for sure i do like the hair though 
sideburns look good and everything but yeah anyway i love that body mold so i'm still gonna you know i'm still gonna cave and get it he comes with a mandroid head and uh you can smash uh the floor right there and that looks pretty sick so i'm happy that it comes with that accessory and the card back and everything it's not really uh fitting over there uh, it's not working the diorama feature that you'd hope, right? So that's unfortunate. Maybe if they could have done something where it could fold up and you get it twice as tall. Uh, but yeah, you can see all the accessories that it comes with right over there. Then you can see how it look on card. And then uh, this will be a pre-order. Uh, I think it's going to be a fan channel one. Yeah, so it'll be available pretty much everywhere. And then Ryan was able to show it off. Uh, he was explaining how it's the same size card as the Iron Man and the Captain America. So all four figures will fit nicely side by side, which is really cool that they're able to keep the size up, just like how they did in the good old Toy Biz days. So anyway, uh, moving on over here, we finally get some, I think this set of reveals really uh, kicked things or took things to another level on this live stream for me because we got an X-Men 2022 wave and they started out with revealing vulcan and i mean well they've revealed vulcan before already but we're, we're getting some nice promo shots here and i think it looks awesome so i'm really excited for vulcan really like how this new body mold looks so far already uh but we have a whole bunch of new characters and uh one i've wanted for a while is darwin darwin looks sick man i really like this a lot so yeah stoked to see a darwin figure over here very very cool looking we have our aoa darwin but now we get this darwin the 616 darwin and yeah we're really happy with the alien head i mean we get the pizza spidey body mold so we've seen that before but i mean i'm you know how i feel about reused body molds it doesn't really bother me that much if it makes sense so there we go uh speaking of reuse we get a, another wolverine you gotta have the wolverine in there or else you can't sell any x-men right i guess that's the theme or I guess that's how the big box retailers look at it, I guess. That's what I think anyway, but that's my speculation. Not a bad looking Wolverine figure. I do vaguely remember these heat claws uh, in the books, but it's just very vague in my mind. And this is not something I'm particularly super excited for, but I love Wolverine. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll swoop, I'll swoop up on this, you know, to complete the wave and everything, but I'm just not really that thrilled about it the black shoulder pads throw me off and i don't remember seeing that particular feature in the comics but i could be totally wrong um but yeah the wolverine and we get saber tooth a classic saber tooth a dialed down saber tooth as they explained it looks like they're going to use the omega red body mold for the for the next uh i guess jim lee era saber tooth i would prefer they use the aoa saber tooth body mold for that uh but yeah this right here not feeling the head sculpt man um that that it's it's a gummy figure i mean look at those gums that is a lot of gums right there and for a saber tooth i don't want my attention to get distracted from the uh the head sculpt and the other thing too is i don't like the idea of this being the dial down saber tooth i know he's not as huge as when we first as when we see him later on but still he's supposed to be pretty big and the hair is supposed to be a lot bigger like really big mane right so i i'm i'm not really feeling this figure so much you know what i mean it's just not uh it doesn't look bad it's just not maybe the head sculpt is what's throwing me off more than anything it's probably the head sculpt that's really frustrating me more than anything else with this one yeah i'm not liking that head sculpt moving on uh we finally get siren i've been wanting siren for so long so i'm so stoked that we are getting a siren figure yes but um and then dwight showed it off over here with the whole cape and how it's made with soft goods so i thought that was a good choice but the head sculpt looks good here i do like the hair but she's not screaming so you can never really feel like you're getting her in a flying pose like you can't really do it because her power set is she screams to fly just like banshee and if she's not screaming then she's not flying and that frustrates me like when we got banshee that had only the one head sculpt and he was just screaming and this should have been a screaming head sculpt unless later on they reveal another head sculpt to go along with it if they don't have that please you guys uh get you know get that hustle on that other head sculpt and throw it in there because she should really come with another head sculpt that really frustrates me but other than that i'm happy to see the pinless double jointed elbows that's cool body mold itself looks good and everything i just wish she had a screaming head 
Next, we're getting Havoc, Classic Havoc, and I'm so happy to see this Classic Havoc figure. I don't mind them reusing the Sunfire body mold, but the thing that really makes me excited about this figure, not just that deco on the chest, but the effects, man. He's coming with some really dope-ass uh, kinetic energy effects. This looks so sick, and Dwight's showing off the figure over here. You can see how you could port the big one on the back, and then you get the additional pieces on the hands. That is freaking awesome. Ah, I'm so stoked for that. This, uh, dude, I just really like how this looks like. That's the ideal effect set I would love to see for Havoc. Now, the part where it's on the back right there would be really neat if you could, like, use some sticky tack or something, put it on the chest, too. That would be a cool thing. You know, take it off the hands and just make it coming from the chest. That would be pretty sweet. But, yeah, I really like that a lot. Um, really stoked for the Havoc figure. So that looks, especially because of those effects pieces, and I love that body mold. Uh, next, we get Maggot, and this looks really cool. I really do like the design for this character and everything. That jacket looks dope i really like how the head sculpt looks on this one right here and he comes with his little maggots dwight lost one already uh, i forgot the names of them and everything uh but yeah those this particular figure looks awesome so stoked to get that but the build a figure for this set is going to be bone breaker and this is one that we've been wanting for quite some time and i'm happy that dwight is adamant about completing the reavers as much as possible so very stoked to see this over here really like it a lot very very cool look and yeah we get the barrels uh i don't think anybody guessed correctly a lot of us uh, were really confused with the tease that dwight had originally given during i guess several streams back with the whole barrel thing and I don't remember anybody guessing Bonebreaker over here. I don't think anybody got it right. But if you know somebody who did, hey, uh, props to them. Uh, there's also a hatch on the back of the figure over there where you could, uh, you know, store hands and everything. And you could remove the top of the figure from the tank section. Um, I, the head sculpt over here, I'm a little thrown off by it, to be honest with you. It just looks a little bit weird to me. Uh, it's the face. It's the wide head i guess i don't know stoked to see another character with the mohawk and the glasses do peg in onto the sides right there so you can move the glasses up and down so i think that's a very cool feature as well uh, the tank won't actually roll but it has i mean it has wheels and everything but the treads won't actually function properly dwight had talked about that during the stream but yeah uh, i think a lot of us are really happy to see this we've been asking for it for quite some time so yeah i'm stoked that we're finally going to get a bone breaker over here for the most part it does look very badass and there's a whole pop feature if you lift that hatch and you don't remove the barrels first first which is kind of neat i guess we got a tease from ryan over here he's showing off a backpack and i have a feeling that the backpack uh is referring to uh spider-man he's showing off this little beige backpack and i believe that's supposed to be an amazing spider-man 2 backpack or a i don't know i don't know who else's backpack that's supposed to be but i have a feeling that this is kind of alluding to us getting movie spider-man figures in 2022 i feel like that's our confirmation but i could be totally wrong about that so i don't know let me know what you guys think i'm curious to know what you guys thought of this live stream i thought it was a particularly good live stream i haven't seen one that i actually really liked this much in a little bit so i was really happy with the reveals got some really cool stuff over here uh some stuff i was disappointed in looking at you know so for the most part i'm happy i want to know what you guys think if you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and i'll have another review coming up on the channel tomorrow and you guys all have a good day i'm watching spider-man tonight i am so pumped no live stream tonight because uh the movie and everything but um yeah uh stay tuned and uh i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.